I've never met so many cowards in our black men in show business. I've never met so many black men that have no goddamn backbone. I gave you everything you need to deal with these motherfuckers. Steve Harvey, D.L. Higley. I gave you everything you need to deal with these motherfuckers. What? Mm. Excuse me, Monique. Let me just open by saying uh, I, I uh -huh. could care less than a, <laughs> about what you think of. And when I heard you go on the air and you said, my sister and burnt too many bridges and there's nothing I can do for her now. Steve, do you know how hurt I was? People say, why didn't you talk to him privately? I gave him the opportunity to do that. My texts and my calls went unanswered and unreturned. While Steve Harvey has rebranded himself and his image into the guy you go to when you're having problems in your relationships or friendships in recent times, people in the industry see him in a completely different light. This was seemingly exposed by Monique, who recently called out the celebrity host for going against the very message he's been preaching all this time. According to the comedian and what she claims to be her experience dealing with the daytime show host, Harvey didn't only leave her out to dry when she needed his help as her brother, but it seemed he might have also thrown her under the bus for some dollars. It's all shocking because we all imagine Steve Harvey as an upstanding person whose goal was to help black people around him, but in reality, he might just be nothing but a coward. Anyway, Mo is telling her story now, and it turns out there's a really rocky road between them. So stay tuned. So again, and someone put in the room, it's a damn shame Steve Harvey would meet with Donald Trump. Over the years, Monique has been repeatedly caught up in the complex web that is doing business in the entertainment industry. The comedian cum actress has been vocal about her repeated struggles with people in her line of work, and in this case, with someone she thought was on her side. Whether it's through her comedy shows or chatting on an interview to explain her point of view, Monique has almost always been ready to face whatever the movers and shakers of the industry throw at her. But her problems with Steve Harvey are on a different level, and it's all because she thought he had her best interest at heart. To her greatest surprise, the celebrity TV host chose his pocket over her, and now she's going at him with everything she has. It all started after Monique got caught in a difficult situation with a fellow comedian, D.L. Hewley. Per the reports, after sharing the bill at a show in Detroit in May, D.L. Hewley and Monique have publicly been at odds over what's been widely referred to as a contract dispute. The initial disagreement, however, has since expanded into a multifaceted feud that spurred a slew of headline social media posts and persistent commentary from those on the sidelines, one of whom was Steve Harvey. While Hewley recently suggested to fans he had shared his final word on the matter, widespread attention is still being given to the issues between the two stars. During a May 28th show at the Fox Theater in Detroit last year, Monique told the crowd she was supposed to be the headliner of the show and also claimed that Hewley was refusing to hit the stage if he wasn't in the slot instead. That's what the motherfucking contract says, she told the crowd. Monique is to be the last motherfucking person on the goddamn stage. She is the headliner. According to Monique, this order of performers is explicitly why she signed on for the show to begin with. She also took the time during the performance to directly mock Hugh Lee and Steve Harvey. Steve Harvey, D.L. Hughley. I gave you everything you need to deal with these motherfucking fools. Hughley later responded via Instagram, mentioning the order of performers listed on the event's tickets and claiming he had agreed to take a chance by working with Monique against my better judgment and the advice of his team. The fact that you point the people to the ticket stubs for the order of the names versus to your contract implies that you don't have a contract that shows you are the headliner like I do," Monique said in response, adding that Hewley's alleged behavior was a prime example of the bias against black women in the entertainment industry. By May 30th, both Hewley and Monique shared various paperwork related to the Detroit show on Instagram, and it seems this was the point Steve Harvey finally decided to step into the feud. A month into the feud, Steve Harvey had stepped in to address the growing back and forth, saying during a Steve Harvey morning show discussion with his panel that he couldn't care less what Monique thinks about him. I uh -huh. could care uh -huh. less than a <laughs> about what you think about me. Speaking more generally on these types of artist-to-artist -artist feuds, Harvey expressed his belief that shows should keep the goal of entertaining an audience at the forefront. 
In Harvey's opinion, this is the mission of a stand-up show. He also speculated about what may have happened behind the scenes that contributed to the disagreement between Hewley and Monique. Her management, whoever he is, simply stated, I got this gig, you co-headline. I promise you that's what was told. And that was incorrect information because DL put that contract online, Harvey said at the time. He was 100% headlining. Co-headlining affects the money. If you're co-headlining, you're going to get the same cash. I mean, and what's crazy is this dude right here, I'm telling you, man, was like the dude we wanted to do the interviews for us because he was articulate. Me. Oh, wow. The same day, Monique and her husband, Sidney Hicks, shared an hour-long video to Instagram in which they both discussed the Hewley feud and spoke on the larger issues they said were also in play here. Harvey was also not left out in the video. I've never stopped being a stand-up comedian, baby, she said at one point in the IG upload. I've been out there on that road doing my thing the whole time, so stop trying to put a false narrative out there. That's Steve Harvey's big word. Stop trying to put a false narrative out there. Elsewhere in the same video, Monique also disputed Hewley's claims of the audience not enjoying her time on stage during the night in question. Instead, according to Monique, the audience gave her standing ovations both upon entry and upon exit from the stage. Just your night was bad, DL, Monique said, later adding that Hewley did not meet the challenge of that audience. However, shortly after things blew over in that case, with Monique choosing to let bygones be bygones, Steve Harvey would later throw her under the buzz a second time. This time, the pair took to the celebrity host's TV show to thrash their problems out, as they had a sit-down concerning some industry problems the comedian was having at the time, and suffice it to say, it got messy. Per the reports, Monique and Harvey clashed on camera over her claims she was shut out of Hollywood after winning an Academy Award in 2010. During an interview on Harvey's talk show, the 55-year-old comedian and actress said she and her husband and manager, Sidney Hicks, got labeled as difficult for pushing back when the producers of the movie Precious asked her to do more Oscar campaigning. I said one word, said Monique, who ultimately took home the statuette for Best Supporting Actress, and that was a no. I said no to some powerful people, Monique continued. I said no to O asterisk Raw Winfrey. I said no Tyler Perry. I said no to Lee Daniels and I said no to Lionsgate. The difficulty came when people that look like me, like O asterisk Raw, Tyler, Lee Daniels, and I gotta put my brother Steve Harvey on the list. Y'all knew I was not wrong. Each one of you said to me, Monique, you're not wrong. The comic added she felt betrayed when Harvey publicly criticized her without speaking to her first. When you went on the air and said, my sister burned too many bridges and there's nothing I can do for her now. Do you know how hurt I was? Harvey pushed back. You and I had this conversation, the talk show host replied. I thought you went about it wrong. I felt you had done yourself a disservice by the way you chose to go about it. Monique's comments come nine years after she refused to campaign for a scene-stealing role as a mother in Precious during awards season and was criticized by Daniels for her demands. After winning the Oscar for the film, she began her acceptance speech by saying, First, I would like to thank the Academy for showing that it can be about the performance and not the politics. Despite her victory, Monique has long maintained she was punished for her actions, telling The Hollywood Reporter in 2015 that she was blackballed for refusing to play the game. This was also not the first or only time she has publicly called out Hollywood power players. In January 2018, the Baltimore native called for a Netflix boycott for gender bias and color bias after the streaming giant offered her $500,000 for a comedy special, a relatively small amount compared to the multi-million dollar payouts given to Amy Schumer, Chris Rock, and Dave Chappelle each earned. The Fat Girls star told Harvey her family suffered from the loss of opportunities after the Oscar flap and failed Netflix deal, but that he and other prominent African Americans in Hollywood had not stood by her publicly. When you called me with the morning show on the phone, I said to you, Steve, my family is suffering behind this, and y'all know I did nothing wrong. My husband did nothing wrong. But none of y'all in real time was strong enough to go public and say, we can't throw our sister under the bus, she said. Harvey said he hoped the pair could put their difference behind them. 
What I want, really, is for you to come through because I know who you really are, he said. Well, you could say fans easily saw through Harvey's refusal to accept his fault in how he turned his back against her when she needed a friend the most. That's basically all people have been talking about on the internet, as was the case with this ex-user who wrote, To this day, I'm still mad at Steve Harvey for telling Monique to basically tap dance for the YTS, and she was right. Ain't none of them NXG guys spoke, and ain't gon' say shaxt, but wanna be quiet because money and massa, F-O-H. Looks like everyone else might be starting to catch on to who Steve Harvey really is, regardless of whether there's a camera in the room or not. That's it for this video. Goodbye.